So in this example, guys, again, what we want to do is we want to describe the transformations of the graph and then determine the domain and range. So oh. Almost. So we have f of x equals the square root of x minus 3 and plus 4. Now, when I'm writing the square root, guys, a lot of times I like to put the little door here just to make sure because if we know that some, if something's inside versus outside, that kind of makes a difference, right? So we want to make sure we're not going to confuse ourselves or the teacher when he's grading your assignments if something's inside or outside. So I like to make sure I'm very clear on what's going to be inside, what's outside. All right? Um, so anyways, we recognize, and again, guys, this is just going to be off of memory, just the things that we just worked on, all right? I will give you formal notes on it. Let's just kind of work off of things that we remembered from that warm up. So if we're subtracting a 3 inside the function, that tells us we're going to write. So we're going to shift, right? That is a translation. So it's going to be a shift, right, 3. That's going to take the graph 3 units to the right. And if we add a 4 on the outside of the function, that's going to be another shift, right? Adding and subtracting with shifts, that's going to be shift up 4 units. Now the next thing is we've got to look at, well, what happened to the domain? So this nice graph here, which you guys have all those parent graphs, of the absolute value looks like this. If I shift the graph 3 units to the right, right now my domain is from 0 to infinity. When I shift this graph 3 units to the right, what is my new domain? 3 yeah. to infinity. And then if I shift the graph 4 units up, what is my new range? 4 to infinity. right? Remember, range, guys, is the set of all y values. Domain is the set of all x values. So now this graph is going as low as 4 up to infinity, and as far to the left as 3 to infinity. So that works? Yeah, pretty cool. So that's kind of like one type of problem. 